Hello, Assalamualaikum dan selamat petang. Good afternoon. Uh, so, we are going to continue our last uh, AC type of AC bridge, um, which is called Vian's Bridge. Okay. So, what is Vian's Bridge? <coughs> so, Vian's Bridge is basically used to measure frequency. Okay. The omega or in the F in terms of uh, hertz lah. So it's also used for the measurement of an unknown capacitance and resistance with high accuracy. And some examples of application, for example, to uh, harmonic distortion analyzer, uh, audio, and high frequency oscillator, and so on and so forth. Okay. So let's go ahead and we go straight to the point, uh, to the configuration of the wind bridge. Okay. So uh, first and foremost, uh, if you look at the figure. Uh, here, it pretty much looks like a Wickstone Bridge or Maxwell Bridge, okay, but except you will have a different uh, components at each of the branches. Okay, so let's take a look at branch number one. Uh, now, in branch number one for Wings Bridge, you have a C1 and R1 in series. So this is basically the impedance for the branch number one. Okay, and for branch number two here, you have a resistor which is equal to R2. And Z4 is actually branch number 4 here. And last and not least, you have a Z3 here. Basically, it's a, it's a parallel combination of resistor R3 and capacitor R3. Okay. So if you put these three together, okay, uh, these two together in parallel, then you can solve for the equivalent resistance for that branch is R3 divided by 1 plus the omega C3 R3. So later on, we're going to use, uh, remember we have discussed with you about the, the uh, emittance. So for simplification, we are going to straight define what is uh, emittance for Z3. Remember, emittance is just a reciprocal of the impedance, 1 over Z3. So if we basically, if you reverse R3 to become the bottom one and the denominator become the top one, okay? So and then you will have the uh, emittance for uh, the branch number 3. So you simplify, you will have 1 over R3 plus J omega C3. Okay, we'll keep that uh, for the next equation. Okay, so under balance condition, always uh, for all this equation, actually we are assuming all balance balance condition, which means that the null detector here, okay, are detecting no current, okay, there's no current and no voltage between these two points, okay, similar with other kind of bridges. So, for under balance condition, we know that Z1 multiplied by Z4 equals to Z2 multiplied by Z3. Okay. And if you remember, we, we changed the uh, uh, impedance, y, uh, impedance Y3 in terms of emittance Y3. So, if we put that, and then we'll get Z2 equals Y3 multiplied by Z1 multiplied by Z4. Okay. So, if we substitute, uh, okay, if we bring all this these three terms to the left and you put that to zero. Okay, you have this equation. And if you substitute all the impedance parameter, for example, for Z2 is R2, and Y3 is this equation here, and Z1 is this equation here, and Z4 is just R4. Okay, you plug it all in. Okay, and then after that, you further expand. You calculate, you expand, you multiply all out, and you separate from the real and imaginary value, then you will get this kind of equation. Okay, so uh, I would suggest all of you to try to try to expand this and try to get the bottom equation down here. Okay, for your exercise. So I just made already made the simplification, uh, the final uh, separation. For the green green font, basically is all the real value, and the red font are all the imaginary value. Okay, how do you, can you tell the difference because of this letter J? Okay. All right. So if you separate that, meaning that all this uh, R2 minus all the, 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 the variable in the parenthesis must equal to zero, and all this also must equal to zero. So we can separate that for the real part, basically. Okay, so if we have a real part R2 minus all this, this basically this, this, this expression, this term here equal to zero, and then you can simplify the first formula to, to relate between all the resistance and capacitance is this one. Okay, R2 equals R1 multiplied by R4 divided by R3 plus C3 multiplied by R4 divided by C1. 
Okay, that's the first uh, relationship under balance condition. For the imaginary part, okay, so basically this is this whole thing to equal that, that to zero, and then you can simplify it. Okay, all right, uh, into this equation here. All right, so basically you can cancel out j, j here, right? and then cancel cancel out r four, cancel r four, and then in the end you will have the second equation. Okay, that relates c one r three. C3 and R1 and the frequency. Okay, so next, then we are not you're not done yet. So if you continue from from previous, okay, so this is from from previous equation. So I just take out this R4, and I just factor it out, and then leave this equation here. So basically, this one is a. Uh, I think I made a mistake here. This one is one. This is R1. Okay. Right, so it's actually R1. R2, okay, if you bring R4 down here, okay, you have R1 divided by R3 plus C1, C3 divided by C1, okay, that's the, the simplified equation, okay. And then, to find the radial frequency at balance, then is, uh, this is from previous equation, okay. So, we can solve for this frequency, this frequency, okay. If you multiply out and then you, you factor out the omega and you can solve for the equation to find the frequency which is this one here. Okay. So I leave up to you uh, to to how to, to calculate this and get the final expression here for your exercise. Alright. So and then if you this is basically radi in radian per second. If you want to find the frequency in terms of first, then you can translate uh, the relationship uh, which is omega equals two pi f, meaning that f equals to 2 pi over omega all right so and then you you you, you substitute back into this equation here okay uh, this equation pull up here and then you can calculate the frequency linear frequency and with the unit uh, the unit in, in, in hertz okay so let's take a look at one example uh, you have uh, a wind bridge over here and all the parameters are given R1, C1, R2, C3, and R3, and R4. Okay, so assume that the bridge is balanced, determine the frequency, okay, the frequency, omega, and of the circuit. Okay, so, uh, okay, this question asks for the frequency in terms of hertz. Okay, so this is the formula for the frequency. Alright, you just uh, plug in all the capacitance value C1, R1, and C3. And you crunch the number and that's your final answer okay so that's very very easy to do okay another question so uh this question is a bit different so it asks you to find the equivalent parallel resistance r3 and c3 okay so basically in this case r3 and c3 become an unknown value okay uh, so you want to find out what's the value of the magnitude uh, of this c3 and r3 that causes a wind bridge to null to achieve null condition with the following parameter so these all parameter value are given okay from r1 all the way to r4 okay so how to do that it's a bit tricky but i think it's okay i mean you can use uh, we are using the, the same formula that we have derived before okay so you know the relationship between uh for the imaginary part is this one okay and then if you factor out c3 you can come up with this expression okay this is let's say let's call it equation number a equation a and then, um, okay, remember uh, another another equation that we have derived before is the relationship between resistor R2, R1, R4, and R3, R3, R3 and C1. This equation, let's call it equation B. Okay, so if we substitute A into B, this C3 here, you substitute into this equation here, and then you will get this equation. Okay, so R2 divided by R4 equals R1 divided by R3 plus Okay, so this whole thing is basically the C3 here, okay? Alright, if you further, you uh, you simplify, you will get this equation here. And you if you simplify further, we say I, I factor out R3, right? I bring out R3 outside, and I factor out, I will have this, this equation, okay? So therefore, we can relate that uh, R, uh, if we simplify that, which is R2 divided, uh, divided by R4 is this one. And then this whole equation here is this one, okay? And when, then we can further simplify, we can solve for R3. Uh, we can bring R4 down here, 
okay r3 up here and we can solve for r3 in this equation okay so now we plug in all the given values so we know r2 we know r4 r1 c1 omega is given also the frequency r1 and c1 so now it's easy to solve for r3 so you plug in all the numbers and the question of the numbers and then finally you get the final answer so i leave it up to you to to check uh, to try this this example also and if you uh, insert if you want to find now we have we have, we have solved for the resistance r3 so you want to find the capacitor was capacitor r3 so you insert this r3 value back into a okay this r3 value you go back insert back into the equation a here it can be because of for c3 okay so this equation down here so note that uh okay this equation here so you can find the c3 is equal to 20.3 picofarad so there's a note here so basically you can also insert r3 into b not only a but you can also insert r3 back into this equation b you can solve so solve can solve for c3 you know you r2 is known r4 is known r1 is known so uh, r3 is you just calculated uh, c1 is known so you can solve for c3 okay so it's not very good you can do either way either way you can i think you will get uh, you should get the same answer okay so um we are basically arriving at towards the end of chapter six so just a review um so uh, so we have covered uh, all the four type of uh, ac bridges which is metal bridges maxwell bridges hay bridge sharing's bridge and winds bridge okay make sure all of you uh, study and understand all these type of bridges and how the equations are derived and then uh, study also the examples that have been given in the slides in the video also okay so uh, i think that's all uh, that we have for chapter six next we are going to continue for our last chapter of the subject which is on census so i uh, wish you all good luck uh, studying the this uh, material and i'll see you again in the next chapter 57 okay um it's 10 47 almost 11 o'clock night so have a good night and thank you very much for listening. I'll see you again next time. Assalamualaikum.